inside the shelter part of Abel right now. We're having to move. Because <clears throat> we weren't level enough and our um, window was leaking. A little leak there. And our ever spotter, our diesel heater isn't uh, isn't heating. So we think it's because we weren't level and Sean got out and checked and lo and behold, apparently the the ground is so saturated from it raining for the last, I don't know, well, at least since we've been up here six hours maybe plus, um, ground's so saturated that the tires are starting to sink down. So he's moving us to higher ground, but it sure is beautiful out here. I don't know if you can see it. Well, that's a tree. That's another tree. That's another tree, but we're over in, uh, there's more trees behind me. We're on Mount Emily and there's some snow. See how oh, it's muddy, 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 muddy. We got a nice uh, like four mile wide walk in. It's kind of cool. Anyway, love you guys. Well, what we tried to avoid uh, by moving Abel out of a sinking mud pit of an area we uh, got ensnared with trying to do a turnaround looking for something more level. Um, luckily, well, I mean, we're probably at about a, I don't know, a 15 degree incline right here. We got good gravel, but um, I decided we need to disconnect the trailer and we pushed it uphill a little bit, chalked it, and then got got Sean out of the, the mud pit there, thankfully, just back him straight out and took it slow and easy and good communication, hooked the trailer back up. so. Now we're trying to find another spot. Ciao for now. Morning guys. Well, it's still cloudy, but the rain finally stopped last night around four in the morning or four this morning. Yesterday was not fun. I, I'm gonna admit it was uh, Definitely not a fun experience. Finding a place to camp with all these people up here uh, was very challenging. Every single spot we knew of was taken. And then when we did find a spot, Abel started sinking down in the mud pretty deep and then we tried to go to another spot and turn into the turnout and I had to straighten out the trailer and then we got stuck in that mud pit. Um, was absolutely nightmare so we we're driving around driving around driving around and then it started to get dark and we had to make a decision so this is what we came up with as you can see we are in a very uncomfortable spot right off of the main road and in order to get able level we had to cut a tree round off of one of these stumps back here which I'm gonna bring up something else here in a minute. Uh, yeah, it was definitely not not fun yesterday at all. <laughs> I mean, the drive up was nice and whatnot, but we also noticed this morning, since it was dark when we got here, there's a widow maker sitting right there, not pointing towards us, but, and then if you walk back here a bit, notice we're at the intersection of like three roads here, okay? Just notice that. It looks like people have been coming back here and cutting down trees for firewood. Now, I'm not certain, but I don't think, because we don't make fires when we go anywhere. We've got, you know, a shelter. We don't do any of that. I don't think you're supposed to cut down trees for firewood, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Maybe you can get a permit to do that, but I just found it odd this morning when I woke up. There's all these trees chopped down. I mean, and they don't look like they were dying, especially like that one right there. I'm not sure what, what's going on. So we cut a tree round off that s stump um, and then stuck that under there to get somewhat level. But I think um, on our agenda this morning, it's still wet out, but we are going to make an attempt to take the uh, motos out and uh, find a new spot. Because driving around in the truck to find a new spot and then getting stuck in a mud pit was not ideal. 
So, I think that's what our plan is for this morning. Scope out these two roads. We didn't want to drive any further in the dark, not knowing what was at the end of them. But uh, the good thing is, is we have not seen or heard anybody uh, last night or this morning. Whereas yesterday, when we were at that spot where we were sinking, people kept driving into the campsite, and pointing and looking and turning around. And it was just really frustrating. Um, Cause you come out here to get away from people ideally and then when you got people driving into your campsite and you know it's very uh disturbing you don't know if they're scoping out stuff to steal or what the deal is anyhow uh, enough of my rambling we're gonna get this day started spot this is a uh, rocky clay ground up here and there's nobody around the last people we saw were down the road there probably like two miles so I think we're gonna move Abel up here we got a beautiful view of everything and I doubt any of the RV haulers are gonna try and haul their garbage up here because there's a pretty uh, steep section on the way up but it's it's rocky so Abel should be doing just fine there is a peak over there. You see it between the trees there? I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty neat. Yeah, what is that? Crazy. We're gonna head back and grab Abel and hopefully nobody stole everything.
guys, I'm convinced. This is definitely the way to go. There's no way that Cabo Scooter would have uh, handled all of that that we just did. So, a um, couple of modifications I want to make. I'll probably buy a spare fender here and extend this out a little bit so that we're not getting too much grime in that area. Not a big deal. It's built to handle all that stuff, but I just want to be safe. Um, there's going to be an upcoming episode. I have a super trap on the way that's going to go on the end of this. That will be the spark arrestor that when it's drier out, the forest service is really pertinent on people having spark arresters on their uh, ATVs. Uh, but other than that, this thing rips. I couldn't believe how smooth the engagement was on that Torquezilla and how hard it grabs at higher RPM. There's no way that's going to slip now that uh, that's on there. So, yeah, super awesome. Inexpensive build. I probably spent 1300 1400 bucks on this whole setup, and uh, I'm just really stoked with it.